James Jessup painting live in the Glasgow studio, Sunday the 11th of September 2022. Queen Elizabeth II died on Thursday afternoon this week. It was announced that proves were going live. That was the 8th of September 2022 this week. See yeah, the painting in the Glasgow studio. Transcribing by I, Rubens, Peace and War, which was painted by Rubens originally, Peter Paul Rubens. It's in the National Gallery. It's sold to support the National Gallery. It's postcard I'm holding now, and it's Minerva protects Pax from Mars, in brackets, Peace and War, Peter Paul Rubens, 1577. Minus 1640, it says oil on canvas, 203 times 298 centimeters. Printed in Great Britain, this postcard. I'm also, I've got the iPad up here as well, I'm copying from. So I'm zoomed in. It's a little, it's a little wobbly up here. I didn't actually see this painting in the flesh. I saw it for the first time in 1999 when I was doing the transcription project at St. Girls London Art School for the first time. It was at the National Gallery. And we went to see it with Robin Mason and Michael Buell, rest in peace. There was a lot of, that year we did the transcription project. You could choose any painting in the National Gallery we did it that year which we haven't done it like that most years, has been a limited sources of paintings. The first year that you could choose any painting, but this painting got chosen. So yeah, when I paint, you would have heard me say this before my regulars, but I used, I discovered when I was studying at the Royal College of Art between 1997 and 1999, still doing the MA in painting, I discovered artist painting medium, just wins for Newton is the best medium for me. It's, um, it dries about 20% to 20, to even 30% richer looking than just the, the linseed oil. You'd think, oh, I can just get Winsor in linseed oil and it looks just like that. But it dries, it dries, it doesn't dry as wet looking like a Philip Gustin. This dries wet looking forever like a Philip Gustin if you use this and it's so easy to use. So like my paintings that's in the um, Royal College of Art collection used to hang in the senior common with the Chrysophides and the Francis Bacon for this all that's hung there in 99 for a couple of years, the fused extension style. But our painting with wild lips and daubs, it's in the Royal College collection, it's a five meter long canvas abstract. That's painted with this as the, the rich and with the oil paint. And that's why it looks so rich. Alongside, because I've got the dynamic flowing brush strokes of James Jessup. So yeah, you'll need that as well. You'll need to practice. It's like if you've got a great skateboard, but you haven't practiced for years, it, you won't just be great overnight. If you've got great paints, you won't be great either. You won't be going off. So yeah, it's everything. Like I got my kind of calligraphic style then because I, when I was 11 in like 1985, I was looking at graffiti lettering and. My first tag was James 1986. I was doing practice the calligraphy of that over and over to make it look better and more dynamic. And then I was Jester 1986. So that was all my sort of roots in calligraphy, New York subway tagging. But, but yeah, I put into the work. That's why you get some of the dynamic st styles, the ribbons. See, we discovered like one year, me and Robin Mason, we were looking at the painting and we noticed there was a, a serpent, like a, there's a fire brief, there's a, some kind of serpent in the top. The top right of this paint where I'm working now. So I'm just working on a bit in each corner of the canvas here so that it's, um, it's not too underdone. So yeah, I started more in the top left over there. Last week I was doing the bottom 
left yesterday afternoon I was doing the bottom right and today I'm doing the top right and then I'll go back to it just to sort of keep it all together a bit. So yeah, brush is a little bit sticky today from yesterday. See, I'm just using a, I remember as well when I first met Chris Ophelia, he was my tutor. I say this a lot, man, but if Chris Ophelia was your tutor, of course you'd mention that Chris Ophelia was your tutor in your first year and second year at the Royal College of Art. Had him less in the second year because he won the Turner Prize at the start of the second year, but we still had Chris Ophelia. But he was using the takeaway plates, like the, those kind of like takeaway silver dishes, but... But yeah, these, these paper plates have got a gloss finish on them. These underground plates, because I'm the world's most underground painter, but, and the paint doesn't absorb in too much. So just, just so quickly in the studio, you can mix up on to have a load of palettes. But yeah, so I use those sometimes. Just put a bit of oil on there. That's along the underground. So yeah, this is going to be going on my YouTube channel, James Jessup. So yeah, check out my YouTube channel. Search James Jessup Artist. If you sent me a 56 CV, James Jessup Artist, then I come up on there. Then you can find me and follow me. There's my latest videos, action painting. I know what I'll call this one, but this, this will be another video I'll put up on there. As this has turned out a little bit chatty and everything today. See, so yeah, this, this, this ladder has been used on some big jobs at outdoors. The only thing I'll say about that is that I sprayed the ladder black in 2012 to camouflage. See, look, you'll see a bit more of the paint, I guess, if I paint from here, if I go over here, look a bit of a better, just yeah, see a bit more I'm doing. Yeah, this is more of a chatty video now. I always think I'm going to paint those in front of the camera then, because I'm here, then I start to chat in it. So it's proper dark in the corner here. It's got like a kind of van like brown. Just a Georgian, like a standard, you know, kind of, yeah, budget oil paint. But that's another thing here. You don't have to have expensive oil paints for all of it, for the whole painting, just for key colors. Oh, so I'll do some of this so you can see me do it and I'm still, Oh, splash paint all over me. Oh, that's a good sign, isn't it? Yeah. Splash and paint all over me. I do this mark so you can see it. some darkness in here. Oh, the iPad's it, so I can zoom out. So I'm gonna whack this up onto my YouTube unedited. The, the iPads up there. But I put some black. Got some black. Here's some black. See, I've just got a lamp black, Georgian. That lamp black. Great thing about oil paints is if you don't use it for a long time. still get to them. Sometimes I use a screw. I, I lose the lid somewhere, so I have a screw. I just put a screw to get them back open again. But yeah, if you want to be taught by me in person in 3D, James Jessup, I teach at City and Girls Atlanta Art School on the BA Honours in Fine Art. I've been there since 1999. I've done the transcription project every year. And um, yeah, I missed one crit last year because I had two fake results and my tooth taken out. Had a tooth taken out on the left side here, a massive tooth took out. Ah, so yeah, but yeah, I was there, so I missed the last bit of the project, the 22, but. but if you, so yeah, applied to Seton Guilds of London Art School, BA Honours in Fine Art, Sculpture, and I do the transcription every year, November, December, January, February. Sometimes it moves around, but 
And I'm going to teach, yeah, mainly year one, but I pop up second and third year. So yeah, it's the best art school on the planet. Those that know, you know. Yeah, we're going to get a bit black out there. Let's get this straight on from the tube. So I need this iPad now. So we never used to have iPads back in the late 90s. But they're good, yeah, because I've got the paint in there and I'm copying by from it. I actually scanned the post card in for that, but however you want to do it. And it's good working from a Rubens, because it's out of copyright. So you don't get everyone. We're back in the 90s when there was not so much internet, if you found like a rare record or a rare image, it was kind of like, It'd be like you'd play it and no one would know where you found it and that was part of the art of finding something rare to play. But yeah, that, now everyone tracks everything down and starts having a moan. So, yeah, there's ways around that, that I've got coming up though. Um, but yeah, this is one way around the copyright thing and it? using it. The rooms, it's out of... He's out of... Um, he's out of copyright. Look at that, straight out the tube there. Getting that oil on the iPad, but that's a good sign for painting. It's the main thing. That pull that across there. I find every mark on the painting, it like adds to it, it don't. It's not a hindrance, that there's no like mistakes. It, each mark you put on, it layers up. So yeah, we'll leave that there. Just I'll just do a little zoom in on that one. That's today's video. So yeah, look, there's me some of my paints there. I was mixing up my, my mediums there. Get the lid back on that, all right. And then here's the painting. I just was working, like I said yesterday, is on this area here. And then today I was just doing that live for you. Look, there's the postcard there. There's sort of some details close up through the ladder there, that little frame through the ladder, make it a frame. So you could pit areas out, look at that. That's the composition in itself. Okay, yeah, well, subscribe to James Jess at the YouTube channel. Um, yeah, more coming soon, James Jess of Artist. Yeah, search that on your Fire Stick TV, James Jess of Artist. All right, have a good one. Till next time, bye. We out, we out.